Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdicus Ryan, and I'm flanked by, or not even flanked by, adjacent to. Adjacent to. Yeah. Dave. Ted. And uh, so today, Nerdarchy is going to answer the question, answer the question, do adventurers poop? But before we do, head down to the description where you can find Nerdarchy, the newsletter for gaming tips, as well as learn how to game with Nerdarchy. Woohoo! So, I mean, the idea is, you know, incorporating our bodily functions going to be in your, incorporated in your game. And, like, I was also thinking about things like... The mundane. Mundane stuff, tracking equipment and things like that. But with, with like, the question of, like, literally being caught with your pants down, whether it's, like, for fornicating or defecating, um, you know, like... In so many like horror movies and like books, like uh, you know, a thing happens in Game of Thrones where a guy might meet his end on the throne, on the porcelain throne. Uh, might or might not. Might, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you know, spoiler. Alert, I'm not going to go into the specific instance, but um, you know, and in horror movies, like how many times does it happen where like somebody's pissing and like something comes up and stabs them or bites them or whatever? Right, or you know, you know, teens making out in the car is pretty typical. That kind of stuff. Like, yeah. Um, you know what? So interestingly enough, this makes me think of uh, one of the first D and D games run by Scott Garibay for <laughs> us. Yeah. And he, you know, he's kind of like, yo, we were playing higher level characters, and he's like, look, you guys are experienced adventurers. I am not going to worry about whether you have this thing or that thing because you, your characters would know by now. Yeah. Right. So as far as like the mundane equipment and stuff like that, how much ammunition you carry, and and, and also we've also done like videos on encumbrance that kind of covers that stuff a little bit too. So like you know the inventory stuff is kind of humdrum and boring unless you're playing a survival game. game. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you're yeah. playing if you're playing a game where that is yeah, but part, we we part covered of that in a video game. last week. Yeah. Uh, so well, depending on when we put this video up, <laughs> but yeah, so that's covered in our encumbrance video. You guys can check that out. Oh, uh, but for the other stuff, yeah, it's like you know how do you you know how do you incorporate into that get into your game? Do you bother at all? You know, or as a DM, do you just kind of like. Is yep. it, it's is, fate, right? If you're playing fate, you'd give them a fate point and be like, you're on the crapper or you're out at the outhouse or you're taking a leak or something like that. Yeah. I mean, because let's face it. I mean, it, you could you could play the fate mechanic like inspiration. Like, I'm yeah, going to give yeah. you inspiration because I'm putting you in a situation <laughs> that you're going to be at a disadvantage for. Right. Yeah, and not even, you're like, you just got inspiration. For what? I didn't do anything. Yeah, you know. Well, no, yeah. no, like, you have the thing happen <laughs> and then you slide over the inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Like, just... Not even looking at the player. <laughs> like, here you go. Yeah, that. Yeah, you well, just I mean, made your way to the out outhouse, and it was a mimic. Well, I mean, because well, <laughs> here's the thing, right? Like, weaker creatures like a cobbler or a kobold is gonna like probably stalk the party a little bit, and like wait for those situations of, of extreme disadvantage, like when somebody's got their pants down, you know. Um, and Keeping like kobolds are the worst. What's that? Peeping kobolds. Peeping kobolds. Yeah, they're like looking at you, judging you. Yeah, don't judge. Don't judge. You don't want to be. You don't. Want to be, yeah, you don't want to be compared to a kobold. That's just. That's just a terrible thing. But you know, it also makes me think of like uh, back in Albuquerque. I, I made friends with a dude that was a marine. And it was like basically talking about being in um in a firefight and like shitting himself because like they're fighting like you know being shot at being behind cover and he had to take crap and he just did because he, he you're not so he doesn't that. understand there's some stories you just don't share right. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. but like yeah, yeah because he was shooting at people and being shot at and like that was just no one's no one's gonna fucking say let's pause and, and stop this like so if you're in an engagement that like lasts hours like that could happen you know that's, yep. that's mm -hmm. a thing so. This should definitely be like a there's a, an adrenaline that kicks in that shuts that stuff down for you. That'd be really polite. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> biology. Yeah, yeah no. I, don't, I don't think biology is going to be that nice to you. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So for you guys out there, remember always pack your depends. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. If you're going into Iraq or whatever, um, <laughs> or the dungeon, yeah, or the dungeon. Yeah, yeah that's true too. So uh, the other thing, you know, when we we're talking about like inventory management type of thing, like I don't, if I'm jamming, I. I don't need my players to tell me that they recover their arrows and like there's rules that you recover half of them or whatever or yeah. crossbow bolts like I don't need my players to tell me that like you know like maybe if they do it in an interesting way and like have an RP thing they want to mention like the first time it happens sure but beyond that we're just going to gloss over the, that the, yeah the, just the, uh you know Mark it on your sheet. Yeah. <laughs> the, mu the mundane, it's not very heroic. It doesn't add to a grand story. 
So unless there's really something, unless that, there's narrative reason, like say they're recovering their <coughs> their ammo, and like you want to put like a clue or a thing in there that hey, as you're recovering your ammo and like going around looking for it, you find this because I bet that like you are kind of like where the fuck did that crossbow go? Bolt go? Like so you're like kind of like scanning for it or whatever, like because of the heat of combat, you might not even realize. So you are kind of scanning the area. So right. if you wanted to put in a clue as the GM for the player to find, that becomes a moment like all right, this is a story moment, and this is what we can do to move the, the narrative it forward right but otherwise yeah i don't really need to know this uh same thing like when i was watching uh west marches um steve lumpkin when he was gming it uh had a, a question came up as to whether a character who was scouting had his bow drawn i just like well i mean if you're a scout if you're a ranger and you're going into a hostile area like he made a made the guy do a roll to whether he had his bow drawn and out i was just like if you're in hostile territory well, expecting you, things to happen you, you might have your you bow wouldn't out. have your bow drawn you may have an arrow knocked but it would not be drawn well not drawn <laughs> drawn like held in hand no, like there was a knocked. question no just just held like knocked is just, just holding a bow yeah holding the bow with the arrow to the string okay it's yeah. not well, no, like... Is Drawn not, is pulling it back, and that's yeah. strenuous to you do draw, for a long period of time. You draw a weapon. Like, a weapon is drawn because it's out, not drawn like a bow draw. But anyway, so... <laughs> so, like, there's a fucking question of, like, whether this dude um, had his bow... Archer is out there. You can send Ryan your hate comments right yeah. now. <laughs> Down below. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, Mr. Douchey Pants, uh, getting back to, to crapping and comment. Um, so, you made the guy roll as to whether he had his bow held fucking held Mr. Semantics. <laughs> and so, so I was just like, well, why, why does that matter? Like, why can't he just have his bow with him? Does that really, was that that important that he didn't have his bow off of his back? You know? Like, that's just ridiculous to me. Like, uh, any sort of woodsman who, like, hunts or is using it for defense or whatever, probably just has their bow in hand, you know, and I, an arrow on it. I would absolutely agree. Yeah. Unless it's, unless it's, like, absolutely critical to the situation, I don't question, you know, a, a player about a decision, a decision they're doing. Oh, do you do you want it out or do you not want it out? And yeah. there's times where a situation can come up where it's, you know, better to have had it or better to have not. And you know, it's a it's a story. It's not about how can I screw the players. Well, you know, like here's the thing. Like, um, if you're in the court of a noble, the thing. So context matters, right? If you're in the sure. court of the nobles, you're probably not gonna have your damn sword drawn, right? But if you're in the dungeon now, like, yeah, obviously you're probably gonna have a weapon in hand. You know. Yeah. So if they're playing for the dish, I don't see why it matters because you can move and draw the weapon at the same time. It was well, it was an ambush situation. Like so, uh, yeah. it was like a question of like, do I have re time to react and do this? And like, no, you're yeah, you know, it was just an ambushing sort of thing. But, well, then it might not even matter if your weapon's out. Yeah, I, I I don't remember the exact context of it, but it was just silly to make somebody so do that. that makes me think of it. You know, another thing. Um, a lot of times when you read novels, archers don't actually keep their bows strong. Mm. You know, um, I, I I think it warps the bow or something. Mm. If, it, yeah, if you keep a, if you mm. keep a bow strong all the time, you know, it, it definitely it it messes with the wood. Um, but but if you're gonna be out in a potential combat situation, you're gonna you're gonna string your bow. Yo man, beforehand. you man, don't mess around. He don't string it. He strings and fires like three hours before you even know what happens. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well. I'm not that fast. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and also, I, I, I want to say um, the character from uh, Demon Wars, mm -hmm. R.A. Salvatore, oftentimes had his bow unstrung, yeah. and he would sh he would string and you know string and then fire. Right. Like they do this cool thing where they wrap the, wrap their leg and bend the bow yep. and string it, and then they're firing before you know what happens. Mm -hmm. Ted, you should practice that at Arma. Mm -hmm. Why someone runs at you with a sword? <laughs> From like every yeah, direction. I, I just don't see that happening. Anybody want to see that video? <laughs> I don't want to see that video. You're here. Yeah. Well, go ahead and take the, the nerdarchy stuff and somebody uh, superimpose my face on somebody doing that. And CGI it. That's yeah. not very authentic. No. We, we want to be like strict, um, um, what's the term called? Uh, uh, when you're trying to recreate the exact like real life experience in a game. Recreationist? Yeah, that's Maybe. probably. Not I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or does that have something to do with the Bible? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, so with that, we've gotten off topic. You know, how do you guys handle the mundane in your game? Everything from inventory to bodily functions. Uh, let us know down in the comments below while you're at it. Like, share, and subscribe. You can check us out on Facebook. You can also check us out over on Instagram. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.